Hey, what's up, everyone? Thanks so much for joining me on another real-time edit. Today, I'm going to do something a little different for me, going into a mammal photo here. Here's a, uh, a brown bear from my recent, well, not so recent anymore, but my visit to Alaska with the amazing Jamin Taylor. He was such a great person to hang out with, really cool dude, a uh, great friend of mine, and um yeah, just put me on so many good things. So my first time ever seeing and photographing these bears, which was pretty damn cool. All right, so to start out, just going to straighten the horizon. Shot it crooked there, as I tend to do when I'm laying down. Uh, just had flat light. In fact, it was raining. You can see all the rain up there in addition to the splashes. And then had a fisherman back there that I'm going to have to get rid of. But it's going to be real easy, I think, anyway. So anyway, I'm going to lift the shadows, blacks back down for contrast. I'm actually going to punch in a little bit of saturation on this one. Uh, I want to get some more detail back in the water here. So I'm just going to darken that and then really recover the highlights. And then I'm actually going to drop that on the bottom half of the water a second time. A um, little bit more lightness in the bear's head there, I think. So I'm just going to invert this radial, kind of punch that up just a little bit. And I think that should about do it. I'm going to check this straightness again. It just still seems, feels like a little bit off to me. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. All right, into Photoshop we go. I would like a little bit more space on this side, but there's that rock there. And also the bears, it's kind of funny, like his eyes are kind of looking back this way. See that? Uh, which is kind of funny. But um, I don't know. Just It still feels pretty well balanced to me like this. So anyway, uh, first things first, I'm just going to burn the water down just a tad bit more down here. I don't want to go crazy dark with it, but a little bit more is good. And then just the lighter... Uh, background foliage there. I'm just going to kind of burn that down to really bring attention into the bear here. I'm going to really punch up his fur and then I'll hit the eye separately. So something like that. Those fuzzy ears, aren't they great? And then I really want to, I'm going to bring down the contrast on the paw here and then I'm going to dodge those incredible claws so they really stand out. Look at that. Let's show off those beautiful nails. All right. Well, I got this dodge layer. I'll just kick that white. I love seeing the whites of their eyes. Something just kind of funny about it. Uh, again, I'm just going to go with a little bit more saturation on just the bear. So I'll paint some of that in, get that fur a little bit warmer toned. And now I'm going to try and get rid of this fisherman back here. So I'm just going to use a color layer and just try and paint him out. I'm kind of thinking once I get him, uh, the right the color that matches the background i'll sample some of the browns back there too that he's just going to kind of disappear back there so we'll see how that works do a little bit more green right there maybe and then i don't like how i uh, actually colored the water drops so i'll have to select them back out but that shouldn't be a problem i'm um, just going to mask it real quick make sure i didn't hit any of the bear's fur that looks good i'm going to do a color range selection uh, hit the wrong button. Uh, where am I at? There we go. And let's just get these water drops. That should do for that. Going to add another layer mask and then just invert it. And let's see. There we go. That should it kind of cleaned up the green spots on all of the uh, the water drops there. So look at that. Fisherman be gone just based on color. That's really all I had to do. Look at that. See, so the tonal values are staying the same there, but look, it pretty much matches the uh, trees in the background. I just needed to match the color. So that's all I had to do there. You know, what's funny now when I zoom out, these water drops are kind of distracting me from the bear's eye. So I'm just going to pop these couple of close ones out like that one. Just fix that up. The, uh, the healing brush didn't do perfectly there. There we go. And then like just those couple right there. And then I think I'm looking pretty good here. Um, not sure. Yeah, I don't think there's much else I would do to this. So there's total before after. You know, again, not a massive change, but just enough to kind of bring the bring your eye into the bear's head there and the action. Show off those claws and get rid of the uh, fisherman back there who was obviously a local because he was entirely unfazed by this bear being right in front of him or, or right behind him, I should say. So there we go. Look at that. Cleaned it up. Nice, easy edit today. 
uh, but definitely looks better. The bear is kind of dark here. The water is light. So we got more detail there, more detail on the bear, more detail on the splash. See how much more of those claws stand out compared to the original there. Definitely an improvement all around. So, uh, but what, what are we at here? Yeah, five minutes. So nice, fast, easy edit on this one. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to learn more about what I do and how I do it um, in, a, in a much slower controlled environment, uh, you can sign up with, to do an online session with me, uh, like a remote training session. I love doing those. So just head on over to rayhennessy.com, hit the workshops menu, go down to online workshops, and then you can check out the remote training session there. I also am offering a online bird photography course now. So you can visit that through my website where I just showed you there in the workshops menu or go to learnbirdphotos.com. And this is for photographers who want to learn exactly how I do everything I do with my bird photography. So got a lot of stuff for you to learn there. Listen, every single day, new photo at on my website, uh, new videos all the time. I'm doing more behind the scenes videos. I got the podcast going. I got other videos going on YouTube but they're all found through the website. So the easiest place to find the new content, it's a simple thing. Just visit rayhennessy.com and I hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.